Ika kabiksi kukun in your pack for ice bridges. On April 3rd, 2019, I gathered with team members Bobby and Vince Schaefer as the guides, Andy Mahoney, Donna Hauser, and Jesse Lindsay. After the team packed up scientific instruments, food, water, and safety gear into a sled, we snow machined into a northwest direction out from Kotzebue across the sea ice. The team kept their eyes peeled for ring seal sightings along the way. One of our key research questions addresses looking at ring seal habitat as the sea ice continues to rapidly change. At one point, we spotted what we thought was a seal, but it turned out to be a curious fox, possibly hunting for ring seal pups around what was found to be a lair, which is a den or resting area for a seal. So this is a, a terrestrial laser scanner. This instrument on the tripod shoots a laser beam out. There's a, a mirror that spins around and basically paints a vertical stripe with a laser on the ground and, and, and anything else around. And then the head rotates 360 degrees. And as it spins, it basically paints the whole scene around us within a few hundred meters. And we're basically able to map very accurately the 3D terrain of the ice and snow around us. I am using this instrument called a MagnaProbe um, to collect the information on the snow depth on top of the ice. So it's kind of a cool instrument. You walk along, try to get it all the way down to the top of the ice, and that's actually the trickiest part. Sometimes there's a couple of crust layers and it might stop in sort of a false um, bottom at first. So you kind of got to make sure that it's in the right spot. You push the little button, makes the fun noise, and, uh, and so that takes a really quick measurement of uh, the snow depth. So the little basket that's on top here just floats on the top of the, the surface of the snow. While I dig it in, push the button, and I have a high-resolution GPS in my pocket um, that is documenting exactly where I am as I take the snow depth measurements. We're just trying to take kind of a random sample of snow depth throughout the area that we're surveying um, with the terrestrial LIDAR. I'm sort of taking this expanding spiral circle around the instrument to get sort of that sampling of snow depth points. So this instrument measures very precisely where the top of the snow is. Donna is out there making also very detailed measurements of how deep the snow is. And we can put those two things together and we can get the topography of the snow, and we can get the topography of the ice underneath it, and that allows us to find places where the snow is deep enough that a seal could build its lair. So it's just about to finish its 360 degree scan, and then when that's finished, I'm going to have it stare in a really fine mode and uh, scan four reflectors that we've spaced out. We've stuck them on PVC pipes, those reflectors allow me to tie in the data from this scan with the data from the previous scan. So each time I move the tripod, I see these same four reflectors and those four reflectors are always in the same place. To be able to, to match the data, it's helpful to have these very bright, clear objects like these reflectors that we can use to, to overlay one scan on top of the other very precisely. The Ikagvik Sikakun team concentrated their on-ice scientific observations during the early stages of spring melt while the shorefest ice populated by ring seals was still accessible. Ring seals begin emerging from their layers around this time, but many layers remain hidden beneath the snow. The team will use the data and images collected by the drones to watch how the surface changes as melt continues and look for seal structures that may be exposed as snow thins and disappears. Ikar vixikakun, in your pack for ice bridges.